Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Borderlands 3 was released last week and I was eager to try and see if it would run on Linux. Turns out it does, and very well, but there's a fair bit of tweaking required, so let's see how to do it. Install the game. Borderlands 3 is still an Epic Game Store exclusive, which sucks, that means no easy Proton integration, but there is a simple way to get things started and it's called Lutris. I won't spend too much time telling you how to install Lutris, cause all the instructions are on their website, follow them to make sure you have all the necessary libraries, and install Lutris from your package manager or the repositories they provide. Once Lutris is installed, you'll need to install the Epic Game Store. In Lutris, click the search icon and type Epic Games. Click the Epic Game Store and then Install. You'll see a small pop-up window, click the Install button and select where you want the files to go. Let the installer run its course, it will configure everything for you. Once it's done, Lutris will let you know, click Launch. Next, you'll have to log in into the Epic Game Store or create an account if you don't already have one, which you probably don't. You'll also have to buy Borderlands 3 from the store. You can get refunds for 14 days after purchase, as long as you haven't played more than 2 hours, so no worries here if those steps don't work for you. The tweaks. In Lutris, right-click the Epic Game Store and select Configure. In the Runner Options tab, click Disable eSync. This will allow the game to run. Now you could start the game, and it should work already, except any cutscene that is provided as an MP4 file won't work, so you won't be able to reach character creation, and some quests would be impossible to complete since the video won't be played. We need to add the necessary codecs and DLLs so that the game can read these MP4 files. Let's start with the Microsoft Media Foundation. You'll need to download two scripts that will install these for you. Use the links in the description below to get mf-install and mf-installcab. Extract them both inside your downloads directory. Next, you need to run them in the wine prefix where you installed the Epic Game Store. If you didn't change anything in the Lutris settings, it should be in your games directory inside your users folder. So open a terminal and type that command, cd space downloads slash mf install. This will put you in the scripts directory. Then type wine prefix equal double quotes, followed by the path to the wine prefix for the Epic Game Store. Close the quotes and type space dot slash install dash mf dot sh. Then type enter and the script will run and install the needed DLLs. Then we'll repeat the same steps with the mf dash install cab directory. So it's cd download slash mf dash install cab and then wine prefix equals double quotes path to the epic game store wine prefix close quotes space dot slash install dash mf dash 64 dot sh. Those commands are in the description, so don't panic. If you get an error saying the file is not executable, you'll need to go into the file's properties and enable its execution. Now the final step for this part is you'll need to grab the mfplat.dll file that is located in the mf install cab folder and paste it right next to the borderlands3.exe file in your Epic Game Store wine prefix. To get there, you can right-click the Epic Game Store in Lutris and select Browse Files, then navigate to Program Files, Epic, Borderlands 3. The last steps. We're almost here. These Media Foundation DLLs are not yet enough. We need a last DLL to make the videos work. We'll have to grab a color cnv.dll file. I put a download link in the video description. I can't host that file myself since I don't have any rights to redistribute it. Download that and paste it in the Epic Game Store Wine prefix in Windows slash System32. Finally, we'll have to register it manually through regedit. Right click on the Epic Game Store on Lutris and select Wine Registry. Now we'll have to create a new key, since the names and values are a bit too long and convoluted, I left a written guide in the description of the video, here is what it should look like after you're done. And that's it! When I'm not recording, I get 60 frames per second or higher in high settings on my Ryzen 5 2600 with an RTX 2060 and 16GB of RAM. Performance is smooth, except for when you load a new zone. You have about 10 seconds of stuttering, I guess it's the time it takes to load the textures since my game is installed on a hard drive and not an SSD. I experienced no crashes or issues and online play worked perfectly with friends playing on Windows. I hope you guys enjoyed this little how-to, if you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!